Okay, so I'm here to talk about the NBA draft back that's currently going on. And I think I just saw a team make two of the worst first round draft picks I ever seen in my life. For the, for where they were spy at. I'm talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers. They selected the young Warriors from Syracuse, number four, and created for Kyrie Leonard at number 17. Now, I have a big problem with the young Warriors at number four. You see, there were a bunch of other better guards than him in the draft. As the young Warriors, in two years at Syracuse, average about, I would say, nine points during his two years, but last year he averaged. 12.6 points per game, 2.3 rebounds, and 2.6 assists. Now, I think in the NBA, he's going to be a role player at best. But the biggest problem I had, you had two guards that were burying him Still on the board, Cleveland. For example, Gummy Lamb, who averaged 17.7 points point per game. Four point nine rebounds and zero point six blocks. He's better than the young Warriors. And also you had Austin Rivers, who averaged 15.4 points per game and 2.1 assists. Why would you select the young Warriors over those two? I keep saying that Austin Rivers is going to be a slightly worse version of Derrick Rose and Gian, and Jimmy Lam is going to be somebody like I, I would say. Oh, okay, Mayo kind of, which is going to be better than Gian Warriors. So why would you select the young warriors? I just don't get it. Another, another problem I had with Cleveland. Okay, Cleveland, if you wanted a big like Kyrie Leonard, you could play the A spot with Toronto and got an Andre Drummond who is much better than Kyrie Leonard. Or maybe if you wanted to pick Thomas Robinson as the boy spot. Thomas Robinson average. 17 and 10. Kyrie Leonard averaged 16.5 points per game and 9.3 rebounds. I don't get it. You can have a good number two option and Thomas Robinson. I go for a spot 
and you could have created for four gaming at the number four team spot if you wanted to guys to got three three picks below so I am gay. Arguably, I think it's going to be another bad thing for keeping Cavaliers fans. I'll review the entire draft tomorrow. I'll post it at around 12 noon Eastern time. From 12 to 4, I'll... I'll It'll be up. That's it for right now, guys. Peace.